Hey, this is Shobit. We're talking about a very important topic. It's about your productivity as a product manager. Reason why this is fundamentally important is so many times I hear from people, I want to do all the strategic work, but I have zero time to do it. I'm just so caught up in the tactical work. What do I do? So here's quick things you can do to be immensely productive as a product manager. Okay, let's get started. Number one, know what's important. This is something we spend a lot of time in during Product Leader Blueprint is uncovering what are the things that are really important for our clients to get done and not just to get done, to have their true contribution. Almost think of it like six months from now, when it's time for you to go up for review for promotion, what will people say that you did? Now, they're not going to have a list of 100 things. They're not even going to have a list of 10 things. Maximum two to four things is what they can remember. So what are those stories they will tell about you? You got to write that in advance. That's the first thing you do. You understand what's important. You also need to psychologically deeply understand and know for yourself that your work matters. Your work truly matters and you got to own that contribution. Because look, if you don't, if you don't truly own the value of your work, what will happen is when somebody else comes and says, hey, could you get this done for me? Or, you know, I, this is a deadline for you for this work that's important to me. You'll be like, cool, I'll just go get that done because what's the importance of this strategy presentation that I've been building? So understand and know psychologically that your work matters, have a deep sense. Then what you do is you start to ne renegotiate your job renegotiate your schedule. Don't ever assume that you got to do your job as it's given. That's one of the fundamental mistakes product managers make. You got to keep renegotiating and keep thinking about what are things I want to get out of doing? What do I think I want to take on? Make sure and understand that that is up to you, your manager, and it's a negotiation process that's always undergoing. Once you know that you need to negotiate, next thing you do is you find people to do the things that you don't want to do. This is where I see a product manager with blinders on, right? Like, oh, this is my job. I need to get it done. For example, planning a sprint. This is my job. I need to get it done. Well, back in the day when I used to work at Google, I found some engineers who did that for me. And why did they do? Well, this was a great way for them to get trained on how do they become leaders? How do they become managers? Which was their future goal. It was well aligned for them. And for me, it was zero value. Like planning the sprint after I have the high level vision and high level things we want to achieve. I didn't get any value out of it. They did a much better job. They gained, they got promoted. They were passionate. They showcased their leadership skills. They won and I won because I all, all I could do is review, show up and things are done. And, and I could focus on the strategic things. So, Always be on the lookout for the right kind of people who could take on things that really for your time spent is low value. Next thing you need to do is to really 10x your productivity is to set routines. You got to understand how you are most productive. Some people super productive in the morning. I mean, you know, I record all these videos in the morning. Maybe you can tell based on the lighting. It's because that's when I'm energized, productive at <laughs> energized and productive. Maybe I can't speak that well with all those mistakes, but 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 that's really where these things happen quickly, efficiently. I could knock out a few of these, but if I try to do it like when I'm tired during the afternoon, oh, that just sucks. Like I'm not going to get it done. So I set my routines correctly. Next thing I do, very important, is I protect my time religiously. I protect time slots. I mean, now I can do even more so as an entrepreneur, but even as a product manager, I have these slots and there's various techniques we talk about in, in Product Leader Blueprint, where, which are ways of protecting your time. And it's not just always, hey, block time on the calendar, because other people will look at that time and they'll be like, uh, maybe that's not so blocked because you don't have a meeting with anyone. So you can always do that work a separate time. So you could have specific techniques to value and protect that time to like decline other messages and, and really understand the trade-offs you need to make here. Last but not least, back to one of the psychological things. 
you need to value your time like you value other resources, like money, like uh, other people's times. Because look, the thing that's most finite in the world, like you can always make more money, but you have limited time on this earth. Someday you'll die, just a, just a fact. I don't mean to bring death into the picture, but the more you realize that your time every day is limited, your time on this planet is limited, and there's other people who deserve your time, like your loved ones, your family, your friends, and it's not just about work. The more you value that time, and you bring a sense of urgency that makes you productive. So those are the things you can do to become more productive. And of course, look, if you're really interested in becoming a top product manager, book time with us. But this is really, look, you know, like, just don't book time because, hey, it'll be great to chat with Shobit. I mean, you can talk to my team, but the whole thing is that you must value that time. You must value your time. You must value the time of my team members and, and make that a super productive conversation. And then, you know, we can decide if we can help you in, in some way through one of our programs. But even if not, you'll get a lot of value from that self-reflection and, and the guidance that we'll provide. Look forward to speaking with you soon. Till then, stay productive, my friends.